Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar for Drums Etc. Magazine, and this time we're going to take a second look at anchoring time with your left foot. Now what we're going to do in this lesson uh, is we're going to essentially take a song form. We're going to take a verse groove, a chorus groove, and then fills coming out of each of them. Um, the thing that we're going to do is we're going to focus on three different left foot patterns. Now I'm going to just demonstrate the whole thing with one of them, but I'll demonstrate the verse groove with all three. So let's bust right into it. The verse groove on its own without any of the hi-hat patterns at all just sounds like this. So now what we have is we're going to have three hi-hat patterns, as I said earlier. The first one's going to be quarter notes, then we're going to have eighth notes, and then we're going to have on the ands. So let me just demonstrate what those sound like on their own. I'll give you just eighth notes up on the ride cymbal so you can hear them. I'll do, chord, I'll do them in that order. So you'll have quarter notes, eighth notes, and then on the ands. All right, so for this demonstration, I'm gonna demonstrate all these with the eighth note hi-hat pattern underneath all of this going on. So let's take that verse groove and add our eighth note hi-hats. Next up, we have the verse fill, which is gonna take us into the chorus. Now, what's cool about that is we're taking essentially the same pattern for our left hand, except for those last groups where we have the two ghost notes each, the last two of those, we're gonna match the ride cymbal to them. So just for our hands, and forgetting about the fact that we're moving around to the toms, it sounds like this. Now, the next thing that we have is we have a chorus groove. So in the chorus, we're gonna to wanna to pick a different symbol just so that it has more of an impact. I'm gonna use this china up here on my right and I'm gonna accent it heavily in the quarter notes, but I'm still gonna play the eighth notes as written on the page. Then we've got the chorus fill. So this fill is just completely different. We're gonna break from the groove altogether and play something else. The fill on its own sounds like this. So now the goal is to put them all together. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna treat these the same way we would treat anything musical. Now for the sake of the video, we're gonna cut it down a little bit and we're just gonna use a four bar phrase for each part. So we'll have the verse groove for three bars, 
then with that verse fill on the fourth bar. Then we're going to have the chorus groove for three bars with that chorus fill on the fourth bar. And we're just going to loop through that to make it sort of like a song form. Pretty short song form, mind you, but it'll give us the parts, it'll give us fills coming in and out of them, and the point here is to really focus on keeping that pulse with your left foot. This left foot is what needs to be anchoring your time. It needs to be keeping everything together. So no matter what you're playing on top, this is solid. So make sure you go through this material slowly and really focus on that pulse. The left foot has to be completely solid, otherwise you're missing the point entirely. So I'm Aaron Edgar for Drums Etc. Magazine. I hope you enjoyed this content. I love teaching it to you guys. So I'll see everybody inside the next issue. Bye. Where the heck did that thing go? There we go. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs>